Hey everybody, Crystal Kitsune here, and today is a special, ep well it's not a special episode, I'm just going to be eating stuff, so it's another eating video, um, where I'm eating stuff, and look, I'm blonde, looks a little yellow on this light right now, because it's still semi-wet, um, but I finally went total blonde again, and not super, um, dark roots, <gasps> it's a Pikachu! If you're wondering, this is the Pikachu that was in my April Fool's uh, Day um, video. And he lights up his face when you push his tail. And I actually totally forgot about April Fool's Day the night before. So I was like, um, when April Fool I saw like everything was like April Fool's. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't do anything for April Fool's. And so I'm like... First, I did something where I was like kissing Pikachu and doing, you know, wearing my Easter ears. But I was like, yeah, that's dumb. So then I just decided to have him pop into frame and do like dramatic Pikachu. Um, so that that was my um, April Fool's joke. Um, today, we're going to be eating some food. Um, I went to the store looking for something that was different that wasn't Asian food. And I found two different countries. Um, we're gonna start with the one that's closest to us. Let me adjust this a little bit. No, too far. Okay. Um, I got from two different countries. Well, well, well yeah. Um, the one that's closest to us is Mexico. I got three things from Mexic from the Mexican um, section of the grocery store, um, and I'm gonna try them. And then all the way across the ocean, we're going to visit a different place. Um, but I'll wait until we're finish, finished with Mexico first. <coughs> so, um, they don't really have much in the way of snacks. I mean, they have, like, a, for Mexico, they have, like, a lot of, like, cookies and stuff. Um, but m most cookies taste the same. Um, especially Mexican cookies, at least to me. Um, so I got three separate different things that, um, were different. And so the first thing is called Roll Snack Sandwich. Chocolate flavor, which are loco, let's say loco, let's say loco on them? No, they say go, go, go? Looks like it says G-O-O-O-L on it, so, but they're these. Roll snack sandwiches. They look like Oreos. Probably taste like Oreos. Probably not as good as Oreos, but we'll give them a try. So I'm gonna rip right into these. Uh, and if you're wondering where my stain fingers are stained, because I just got through filming a tie dye video with Kool Aid, make sure you check it out because it's really cool. They don't really. Uh, my fingers still smell like Kool Aid, so I can't really tell if they smell like anything. Um, but they're I think a little bit smaller than Oreos. But they're shaped like Oreos and they got cream on the inside. Just like an Oreo. I mean, there's like a lot of knockoff Oreos, so I'm sure this is probably not much different. But it's the only really thing that was different than like all the cinnamon flavored cookies or whatever. Or big boxes of cookies, which I didn't need a whole big box of them. So I just got the little roll. So I'm going to try this. This this thing that says cool, a ghoul on it. G O O L. I think it's supposed to be cool, but whatever. Well, they're not bad. They're not as deep chocolate as Oreos are. To me, they kind of taste like. I mean. It kind of tastes a little bit like a knockoff brand one, but when you first start biting into it and chewing it, it tastes kind of like fudge or like a brownie or something, more brownie-like. Um, not bad. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it like a 6 or something. I mean, they're good. I mean, better, I mean... They're like a step up from off-brand to me. I mean, I'll eat them. 
No big deal there. Next thing I got. They had two different kinds here. They're Galitas. I mean, these are pay. They're all by the same company. These are Piasso. And these are the, the roll sandwiches. Um, but these are Galetas. And the, the other one that they had there looked almost exactly like Ritz crackers in this big old long tube. Um, but I got the different one because the other ones were just crackers and these ones are, are sesame snack crackers. But, I mean, usually when you, like, when I think sesame, I think, like, Asian, so I don't know how well these are going to taste. They taste kind of weird. They taste probably like sesame seeds. But they're really, really thin. They have like the same like, like, like look. They're like really, really thin Ritz crackers. They almost look like exactly like, so they're super, super thin. And then they got, uh, sesame seeds on the top of it. But they look almost exactly like Ritz, except for they're way thinner. And they smell different. They kind of taste like like a really thin Ritz cracker. Maybe a little bit more saltier. Well, not too much saltier. I mean, Ritz crackers are pretty salty. They're not as buttery as Ritz crackers. Sorry, my nose keeps itching. Um, they're kind of like Ritz crackers. But the sesame seeds, to me, sorry, my nose is itchy. Uh, uh, the Ritz crackers, the sesame seeds kind of taste almost like shelled uh, sunflower seeds so it tastes like a rich cracker with sunflower seeds on top of it which isn't bad it's weird I mean they're good so if you're in the market for something different go to your local Walmart and pick up sesame snacks by Alright, so that's new snack crackers by Payatos. Payaso. These are good. I don't want to keep eating them. Okay. Yeah. What well, better way to wash down a cracker? With some pineapple juice. Like pineapple soda, I should say, not juice. You know, I got this flavor because the only other flavor was like a red flavor, which is I think cherry or something. Blue, which was blueberry. Or like an orange one, which was orange. So I decided to go for this one, which is probably the nastier of, the, of all of them. Because usually artificial pineapple flavor tastes like nasty. Tastes, tastes nasty. Tastes like nasty. It tastes like, it smells like, I haven't quite cracked it open yet, it's still twisting here. Okay. It smells like, like Shasta, like, have you ever tried Shasta, uh, sorry, I'm getting the cracker out of my mouth. Have you ever tried a Shasta, um, Tiki Punch? It's got pineapple in it, as well as, like, other flavors. That's what this smells like, it smells just exactly like that. So maybe it just tastes like the pineapple part of Sasha Solo. Immediately fizzes your on your tongue. It's not a strong flavor. I mean it's carbonated, but it doesn't have like a bite or a big bite like like uh any any regular soda. I mean initially when it comes into your mouth, it tingles your tongue. But once you get past that tongue it's kind of like, like water, a little bit watered down. It's not, it's kind of like flavor carbonated water, but a little bit more syrup than normal. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little less flavorful than I expected. I expected it to be like really bad. But this is done by, it's called Fruity King Mini Soda. Um, and it's a product of Mexico. 
Just like the other two things. Mm, carbonation. Make me burp. Mm. There's another one for you. Okay, so now that we got through with Mexico, we're going all the way across the ocean. And now these three things that I got are like all the same uh, snack, essentially, but they're different flavors. Um, we're going to eat Polish snacks. Um, now, I went to, I got all this stuff at Walmart, so the only section, these are the only three, 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 blah, 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 three snacks that I saw that was Polish. The rest is like Russian or, um, I think it's Russian food. Um, I want to go to like the nearby, like, um, there's like an international European food store nearby. I want to go there and get some, and there's like another, um, I think it's Russian food store that's also nearby, um, which has like a bunch of like edible, like, like dinner foods. And then they also have like, like a bunch of vegetables and snacks and stuff like that. So anyway, so these things are called, they're Krakus, but they're spelled, it's spelled K-R-A-K-U-S. It's a product of Poland. It's, these are limited edition. Um, it comes in three different, I mean, they got three different flavors of them. Now the one that's the most normal for a snack cake is this one here. And it's cherry flavor. Biscuits with chocolate, cherry flavor. Um, so we're going to start with that one. Now the other two flavors are kind of weird for like snacks. Uh, like, like these kind of cookies. I mean, you wouldn't think to put that kind of flavor in a, in a thing. So they look like this. They look like little space discs. There's a cookie underneath, and there's chocolate on the top, and this is where the jelly or whatever is in. It's the chocolate smells weird. It smells like like um, I'm trying to place it. The cookie smells like it's got cinnamon in it, or it's just the the weird chocolate flavor or chocolate scent. Well, let's try it. Now the cookie is a lot softer than I thought because when you're like holding it, it's pretty solid. Unless you like, if you put pressure onto it, then you know, it'll yield. But when we first take it out, you think, you know, they're pretty hard. They're not super hard, but that's what it looks like in the middle. You see the this stuff on the right here. That's the jelly that's on underneath the chocolate. But it tastes like some kind of candy that I tried before, like from the 99 cent store. Something that is cheap and has like really bad chocolate in it. I mean, I think the rest would be fine, but it's either the cherry that's making this scent or it's just really bad chocolate. So, I mean, it's edible, but if I were to rate it, I'd probably give it like a 4.5 or something. At least for this flavor. I don't know if all flavors taste, taste like that with that chocolate, but cherry for me is a no-go. Um, so the next one that we have kind of a, kind of worries me. I mean, the next one after that worries me too, because I have no idea what that's going to taste like. Um, but who puts green apple flavor in stuff like this? Like, honestly, like, I've never had, I mean, besides, like, suckers or, or whatever, hard candies that's got. Okay, no, this one smells like apple, so that must have been the, the cherry flavor shit that's in there that made the chocolate smell bad, because this smells like green apple. And the jelly inside all looks the same. It's dark, just like the last one. And I really don't think that chocolate and green apple go together. I mean, green apple as like a candy by itself, it's fine. I mean, I, even though I'm not a really big fan of like green apple flavored stuff. Because it's, I mean, like, if it's, unless it's a real green apple, 
Um, but green apple flavored stuff kind of is a hit or miss with me. Um, so I'm not going to even finish that. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that flavor. I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I would actually probably go to the cherry. Because that's just really unusual. So. Okay, so I'll get that stuff out of my mouth. Now, in theory, this one looks interesting. It's like pink. I mean, like, the one was red and this one was green. This was pink. But the flavor... I've never tried this, like, outside of a thing, so I don't even know what to expect. And it is rose hip flavor. Now, I know you could take, like, ro there's, like, rose hip tea, and there's, like, rose hip, like, something or other. I mean, it's supposed to be, like, a good thing. I mean, I think, like, a lot of people take rose hip supplements or something. Um, I don't know what it does. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know what it tastes like. To me, it seems like it's going to be kind of, like, bitter. Because... I mean, if you've seen, like, rose hips in real life or whatever, I mean, I've seen rose hips in real life, um, because my mom has a bunch of roses around. So I've seen rose hips, but I've never actually tried to eat one or whatever. It's, <laughs> it smells like roses. I mean, literally, it smells like a book, like, one of those very fragrant roses. It smells like a rose and chocolate. My nose is a little bit stuffed up, so I'm trying to, like, shove it in my nose to smell. But, like, the very first thing that I smell uh, is roses. So it smells like a rose. What it's going to taste like, I don't know. I mean, I know what rose petals taste like. Because as a kid, I mean, I ate rose petals. And they're, you can make rose petal tea, I think. But it's kind of, like, really bitter. So I'm thinking this is kind of be like that. I hope not, because I mean, maybe it would taste good with the chocolate. But we'll find out. So here we go. Not big bite. <laughs> now that is a weird flavor. It tastes like roses smell. Which is weird. I keep going like that. It's a weird flavor. It's not bad. You know, it tastes like I just put a rose in my mouth and just chomped on it. It's got that petally taste to it. But it also tastes kind of like how they smell. It's a weird flavor. Like if you go to like like one of those potpourri places or whatever. And get rose scented like bath oil or, or whatever. That's what it smells like. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes exactly like a rose. It's a weird flavor, but it's good in, you know, theory. I mean, I've never tried rose hip flavor in anything, so. I'm going to wash it down with a little bit more uh, it's soda. We tried stuff from Mexico, and we tried stuff from Poland, and I think the winner, well, if you want crackers, go to Mexico. <laughs> if you want to try unusual flavored biscuit cookie thing, then go to Poland. Well, not literally go to Poland, but go t t to the that section of the store and get them. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other candies and snacks at like international stores, so I'll check there. Do another video of me checking or trying like more Europe, European candies and, and crackers and stuff. Um, I know, like, the, the the one market that's close by the house has, like, the Kinder Eggs and stuff like that. So, I think it's, like, a mix of German and Russian or something. I don't know. I would have to, like, ask or something. I was like, hey, like, like what nationality is this stuff? Because I really don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, 
uh, like and subscribe. That will help. Uh, tell your friends. You know, word of mouth will also help. Um, also, leave a comment <coughs> if you if you live in the Sacramento-ish area and you know of a place that sells, you know, other interesting things. Let me know, and I'll try to find the place and pick up a few things for another video. But in the meantime, that will be the end of the video for this uh, day. And uh, I will see everybody next time. And I keep burping, I'm sorry. <laughs> the last thing you hear from me is a burp. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.